Hey everybody, welcome back to Bearded Goblin Gaming. On today's video, we're gonna be working on some medical triage tents for the quick setup. They're gonna be a quick, simple build, but they look really good on the table. They'll have playable interiors, and even if you don't wanna be able to play with the interior, they'll still look good as a full building. So let's get going. So with these uh, medical tents, all you're really gonna need is either some expanded board, some cardboard, depending on whatever you want to put underneath. It's not really going to matter. You're not going to see it. I'm going to go with these just because they're white and the plastic bags that I'm using are fairly see-through and it'll just make it that much easier. We won't have to worry about any bleed through. <clears throat> My plastic bags are just going to be some Dollar Tree bags and we're just looking for that, you know, the white. So I've already gone ahead and I've uh, pre-cut some pieces my base for the tent itself this can be as big as you want to go mine is going to be three and a half inches wide by six inches long my walls are going to be an inch and a half tall by the six inches long and those are going to go right on the outside of your structure and then you're going to want to cut yourself some wedges for the doorways. So when you start gluing everything together, that'll go there, and then your wall will go on the outside and then we'll just cut off the excess. If you want, you can 45 the outsides of your pieces, but again, I don't think it's gonna matter much. The roof is actually going to be the trickiest part. I've gone ahead and I've pre-cut just some strips. They're almost a half an inch thick just to do our framework. And then for our pitch, uh, I just cut a big strip an inch and an eighth wide and we'll cut our actual pitch out of that. Now, we're going to want to make our pieces here so they fit inside. So, my top angle sets me at two and three quarters. Get one for each side. And again, your measurements might be different just because you can make this thing as big as you want, as long as you want. So those both on one side. Use this last chunk to make one more. So we want that to be able to sit in flush anyway. So from there, we're going to take our inch and an eighth piece and you're going to figure out how much pitch do you want to go up in a 
like an A-frame style? Do you want it to be rounded? Whatever you think is going to work best for you. So for mine, I'm going to kind of mark center here, mark each edge. I'm going to go for more of an A-frame on mine. Of these. Okay. And these are going to overhang enough, those will be your stoppers to keep it up on top of the roof. <clears throat> so don't glue towards I'm not going to worry about filling mine in. I'm just going to let the tent kind of drape and give kind of a saggy look. Let that cool down. We'll work on the bottom. So, you take your plastic bag. and cut it down so you can lay it out. No worry about any of the logos. You can use a garbage bag for this if you want something a little thicker. So like this, kind of hold that down. There's our floor. All we're going to do is just start on one side. Give it a little bit of glue. Set your floor down. Not worried about getting super close to the edges right away because I still got to put the walls in. That'll help cover.
You can do the closed wall on one end and just make it a one entry tent. But what I want to be able to do is with a couple of them, that way I can stick them end to end and do a long tent or build one that's got a door in the middle. So that way you can do a T and actually make a maze out of it or just more, more dynamic of an area. So with the top, I'm gonna make a little wrap. I wanna be able to tuck it up underneath too. So we go from that side over. Okay. As you can see, you can see through that pretty bad. Uh, a couple layers might work better. But you can also stuff stuff up on the. Bleh. You can also stuff things up on the inside once you're done gluing to make it actually stick to or make it less see-through. brace give us just a little bit more hit the doorway cut it back just a little bit more if I could stay in frame We'll cut it back just a little bit more at these edges because you can see how low and closed in this side is and just how much more open that is. It looks a lot better. All right, so there is the basis for our quick medical tent. Like I was saying, one more layer over this would actually make it look a lot better uh, being closed in like that or even just putting some plastic up inside is going to make that a little bit harder to see through. But we'll add one more layer to the top just so it looks a little better. And then we'll get on to adding some extras to it. So if you're playing your zombie survival games and stuff like that, there's probably blood somewhere. And this plastic's going to lend itself to streaking really well. So you can have it look all nice on the outside and you go to open it up for your players and you got blood streaks and turned over tables and things on the inside for them to be able to investigate. So I'll go ahead and finish and we'll do some high res shots and go from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, uh, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.